Good evening, everyone. Over the last few days here at KBTX, we have received a number of emails from viewers saying they haven't been able to reach their state representatives, local or national offices. News 3's Whitney Miller responded to the claims and reached out to those legislators, and she got some answers. This is Senator Cruz. Busy is the tone that Mindy Roll of College Station says she gets every time she contacts the Austin office for U.S. Senator Ted Cruz. And it's the same tone when she calls the Dallas office for Senator John Cornyn. It depends on who I'm calling. Senator Cornyn, it just makes this loud noise and says that the call is unavailable, the call is busy, nothing can go through. And so I'll try the number several times, um, several times over an hour, and I, I'm just not able to get through it all. And when she dials Senator Cruz, she says the mailbox is full. So I haven't been able to um, speak to either of my senators. Mindy says it's been this way for the last few weeks, and since she's motivated by her Lutheran faith to be an advocate, she She's frustrated she can't get through. There's a lot of issues that, if, that affect Texans around me, that affect my community, um, that I think it's important that they hear um, what I have to say and what fellow Texans have to say. We reached out to our media contact at Senator Cornyn's office, and she says if you're having trouble reaching them on the phone, there are a couple of other options. You could either send them an email, write a letter, or reach out on social media. Cornyn's office says it's simply a matter of high call volume, and when the lines are tied up, it's harder to get through. But in a statement to KBTX, they say a member of our legislative staff reviews every opinion expressed in a phone call, voicemail, letter, or email, and responds to all written opinions individually as soon as they can. Senator Ted Cruz's office sent the same sentiment, saying in an email, every email and letter our office receives is responded to, and these are also included in the daily constituent correspondence report for the senator. Mindy says she understands there is a higher demand of our senators, but some of this behavior is nothing new. Them to know that um, when they hear my voice, um, then I can trust them. Even if we disagree, then I trust the political process. But when they can't even hear my voice, um, the political process feels very broken. In College Station, Whitney Miller, News 3. And Mindy says she has been able to get in touch with Representative Bill Flores' office.